Thank you very much for investing your time to watch this video. This is our monthly market update for Niagara. We're going to be taking a look at our August report. We're going to take a look at the stats for July and previously because the stats are now in for July. And we like to look at both the number of units sold and the average sale price across our region. It's interesting to note that the market continues with the recovery we saw last month after a devastating uh, slowdown in March because of COVID-19, when we saw the market slow down by 90% in terms of units sold and prices moderating somewhat, we saw it gradually increase and into April it was down about 65%, May it was down about 35%, and June we saw was actually up not only from May, but it was up from a year ago, which was in a surprising turnaround. That momentum is continuing into July. If you take a look at the figures, you'll see that in July, 1,047 units changed hands throughout Niagara in that one month period. That compares to 825 the previous month, which is an increase of 26.8% in activity from one month to the next. But if we compare it to the previous year, July 2019, when 772 units were sold, we're actually up 39.7% in terms of activity year over year. And so it's remarkable. Uh, to really get the impact of this, we need to take a look at it graphically. And so I'm showing you 2000. Um, 18, 2019, and 2020 uh, on the graph, and you'll see 2018 is in red, 2019 black, 2020 is in green. And you see how deeply it fell in April uh, compared to previous years after a pretty solid start in January and February, much stronger than the previous two years. And then May recovered somewhat, still a long way lower than uh, 2019 or 2018, but better than it was for sure in April. By uh, June, it was actually higher than last year, as you can see. And then July, when normally the market slows down a bit, we think of the spring market moving on into the summer months. And look what happened in July in 2020. It's breaking all records. It's just absolutely incredible, the activity in the marketplace. And what we're experiencing in activity is also true in prices. Let's take a look at the average sale price across um, the region for July. And we'll see that across the region, the average sale price came in at $579,087. That's compared to $548,975 in June. That's 5.5%, 5.49% increase in just one month. But if we go back a year previously, when the average was $461,797, we see that the increase year over year is an astonishing 25.4% in one year across the region. That's just staggering. To really understand what's happening here, we need to take a walk down uh, memory lane. And I want to take you back to 2015. 2015, after years of sluggish growth. We saw the market start to pick up momentum. Prices started to go up substantially. Sales volume began to go up substantial. It carried into 2016. And by the spring of 2017, multiple offers were the norm. Nobody was really able to forecast what houses would sell for because every time a sale came through, it seemed to set a new record. But then in April 2017, the government brought in the foreign buyer spec tax, and they also brought in the stress test for mortgages. And those two things had a dampening effect on the market. And we saw between April 2017 and the end of the year, we saw the number of sales slow down, and we saw the prices moderate somewhat. And a lot of people felt like the heyday in real estate was over. We would have once in a lifetime pent up demand in early 2017, and that would dissipate. Well, 2018 began to change that trend, and we saw unit sales begin to grow, and we saw average price begin to increase throughout 2018, throughout 2019, and into 2020. And as you saw on the chart, and as you can see on the average price, 2020, early in 2020, was setting some new pace and some new records. And then along came COVID-19. Nobody had it on their radar screen, but it came along and it devastated the activity in the marketplace. And we dropped down to 
uh, only doing 10% of their regular volume at the end of March. And as we said in the statistics in April and May, it was really, really sluggish. But how quickly it has recovered. And it's recovered remarkably, not just compared to the previous month, not just compared to a year ago. But if we go to the benchmark of April 2017, when we felt it was kind of at the height, in April 2017, the average price across the region was $427,143. By the end of the year, it had settled down to $408,578, or a drop of nearly 5%. So that pinnacle at $427,143, let's compare it to the average price today, where the average price today is $579,087. That's remarkable. That means compared to the peak in April 2017, we're actually up 35.6% in that relatively short period of time, in spite of the foreign virus spec tax, in spite of the test, stress test, and in spite of COVID-19. And there's no sign of let up. And it's not just happening in Niagara, it's happening across the province as people realize they're not getting much of a return on their GICs. Um, the stock market is shaky at best, and they're looking at real estate at the amazing returns it gets. And so we're finding whether it's speculators, whether it's renovators, whether it's investors, or whether it's home buyers, people are getting in and getting involved and buying at record numbers. And another thing that's interesting, and this is why Niagara is leading the pack, is with COVID-19, a lot of people um, found that they were going to be working from home. And many employers are finding that that's working okay. And so people who lived in the G in around the GTO and still had to commute to downtown and maybe spend three quarters of an hour in the car are finding that they can now live in Niagara, enjoy the winery, enjoy uh, the wonderful lifestyle, enjoy the beaches, enjoy the golf courses, and uh, maybe commute into work once a week perhaps and work from home and uh, get all the benefits of Niagara without having to wait to retirement to settle in here. So all these things are conspiring together to give us an outstanding real estate market. And it's moving up in price, it's moving up in unit sales, and we just expect that to continue. And we'll take a look specifically at the numbers this time next month.